Let's see what I can get down with fire. Hey, welcome back to another video. Act diverse in this building. We got a banger video for y'all today. Make sure you guys go like, subscribe. But before we get into the video, here is intro. Intro. Guys, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get rid of your frizz. First of all, who got frizz on their dreads, man? Come on, hit that like, hit that like, hit that like. Today it's gonna be like in a different way because I know you guys never seen anybody do this before. Uh, so let's get straight to it. <laughs> all right, so you grab. As y'all can see, my dreads is not that frizzy. It's maturing pretty good. This one is very frizzy. Uh, you guys probably can't see it from there. I'll give you guys a close-up shot once I start doing it. As you guys see, I have a lot of frizz in front of my hair. Um, you guys can see right there. And the reason being is that I used to get my hair cut, right? So when I used to get my hair cut, what, what I used to do, uh, or what I had my the barbers, uh, or anybody that cut my hair do was just trim the front, and I even did it to myself. I trimmed the front, and I brought it down on, the, on, on my forehead, and I got a line up on top of it. But now, like, I'm just, like, not liking it, because it kept on going back and back and back. For some reason, more hair has just started to come down. The more you brush it down and trying to, you know, line it up, the more hair you grab it. And my forehead just kept on getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I want my forehead to look like this, but my forehead's like this. So. Big forehead gang, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad at me. I'm not mad at anybody. Today's video is just gonna be to where I get rid of my frizz. It's not gonna include the front frizz, because I know I did a dry retwist recently and they came out already. And the problem being is that they're not long enough to get crochet hooked, which I do have a crochet hook that I can uh, try to crochet hook, but I don't wanna damage my hair. I don't, one thing that I'm very careful about my hair is I don't put a lot of products in there. To be honest with you, I don't, I don't put any products in there as, as long as it's like shampoo and maybe like when I lock it uh, every six months, like really tight locks, I use gel and that's about it. That's all goes that goes to my hair. So what I'm making sure is that I'm making sure that my hair is not getting too much moisturization products because those will create buildup at the end. I'm not putting too much uh, water because water also can create buildups. I'm not going to swimming all the time. I don't swim at all. <laughs> I know I'll swim. I mean, I'm black, but I know. I'll swim. So what I'm gonna end up doing is that I'm gonna go to a professional drug dreadlocks tician uh, to lock my hair all the way through my whole sections because I had sections when I started my dreads. I had sections and I want those sections back. Right now you can see some sections uh, because I dry retwisted them recently, but it's just like my hair is almost like a curly dread. That's that's what it feels like, like the bottom, like curly dread, and some of them are very thin on the bottom because because of how, how much how many times they've been twisted like this instead of crochet hooked you know what i'm saying so i'm kind of done twisting my hair i'm gonna actually go to a drug dreadlocktician hopefully i give you guys a whole video on that because a lot of dreadlocticians they be tripping i heard they be tripping about people filming or something they charge extra because you were filming if you didn't let me film i ain't coming period so what i plan for you guys today is that i'm gonna show you guys how to get rid of frizz you know what i'm saying frizz frizz what is frizz what is dreadlock frizz dreadlock frizz looks like this dread is very frizzy and all it looks like it's about to come out but really not like for my dread is like a very thick dress so having frizz is very common some of you guys have asked the same question how do i get rid of my frizz every time i wash my hair it seems like my whole dread is coming out you have to let your hair mature you can't wash your hair every Especially if you get if you starting off, you can't wash your hair. If you have three to four, five inch, six, seven, eight, about eight inch of dreads, you can't wash your hair all the time, man. It's gonna take your hair out. Your hair's gonna just slip out of dreads right through. I know that when I started my dreadlock, it was already like a length to where it's pretty good. And so I didn't go through those issues of ugly stage or having it to come out of my dreads every time I wash my hair. So I never dealt with those or give you the best advice on those. You have to find people that did that before. The only thing I say is don't wash it much because if you're washing it, it's coming out. So obviously because you're washing it's coming out. So let it mature, let it sit, and get your crochet needle so you can put that thing up. Dang, I've been out of focus this whole time. Gunther Greg is the one that gave me this uh, from greatlocks.com. It's a 0.5. Woo! So it can slip right through anything, basically. So for this project, you just need this. Actually, before we do that, we're going to try it with fire. So let's see. Let's see what I can get down with fire. 
Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. I was just playing. I was just playing. Oh, my dread. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. I got to show y'all this, man. Yeah, I'm good. I burned my hair. Y'all see this? This is what I did. Oh, it smells bad, too. Oh, my God. I didn't know my dream was my dreadlock was flammable. This was this was all a joke, man. God dang, I almost took out my dread, man. It's like it has a bunch of a bunch of dots now, or a bunch of ends. Y'all, y'all see that? Don't ever try that. Don't ever try that, man. Don't do that. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Jesus. Guys, I almost ended my career trying to use this goddamn fire for a dang clickbait. I did try it though, so you can't say I clickbaited you. I did try it and see what happened. That's the easy way to get rid of your dreadlock. So don't ever, 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 ever. I don't want to see in the comments. I don't want to see nobody doing this, all right? It would literally end your dreadlocks. Like, it is so, it just connected to my dreadlocks so fast, man. Fire. Like somebody was plotting to get my dreads out. You know what I'm saying? All right, let me get back to the actual video of what I'm talking about, okay? So this is how you get rid of frizz, right? You grab some of your hair. As you guys see, this is kind of frizzy, not that much. Uh, two methods, okay? I know a lot of dreadlocticians out there. Oh, just get you this and you know what I'm saying? You're good, you're sad, all that stuff, man. Like, I'm going to tell you straightforward two ways to get rid of it, all right? And I'm not the best, like, educated person on dreadlocks. I only had my dress for a year. I didn't start from the bottom up. I didn't, I just got to dreads because I had long hair and I just jumped to it. Jumped forward to it. You know what I'm saying? So, you can't judge me about my knowledge or anything like that. I'm learning just like you are. I'm learning with y'all. You know what I'm saying? And two ways that I've seen it done is when I got it locked, I remember you get to the grade just going like this to my dreads rubbing your dreads and the second way i've seen it is when how i got it locked in general so i you know what i'm saying just pulled out that knowledge from my own mind you feel me all right so i grabbed some of my hair uh, this is the one i got burnt so half of it is done already literally got rid of all the frizz but i start getting to my dreads also so what i what i would do is what i would recommend everybody to do is to grab the hair and twist it around it And after you twist it around it to where it's like almost twisted all the way in, you go with the crochet hook to the other side and just grab it. So this is the first method, crochet needle, 0.5. You guys can get the the thicker one, which is the, the 0.7, I think, 0.7. Kind of like a, a mechanical pencil. It's like 0 0.5 and 0 0.7. I prefer to get the you know the smallest one. And be careful not to poke your fingers too, cause this thing hurt, man. If you poke yourself with this, or you get it stuck in between your nail, I think I, I heard somebody say on my comments like I got one of those things stuck in between my nail. I was like, oh lord, that must hurt, boy. What I'm going is on the other side. See that hook right there? The hook is grabbing the hair, grabbing the hair, grabbing the hair, grabbing the hair. Hmm, it's looking better. Okay, still smell that thing, man. Nasty. See how it looks better? Just have some few hairs that I gotta twist. And do the same thing too and this is fun too to do because it's like it's almost like your baby man you're taking care of your baby man it's like to me it's like dreadlock is very cool it's one of like the best hair style i've ever had but it's like i don't know where to go after this you know what i'm saying like how long would i let it grow is a question how long would i take care of it it's another question how long would i make content like this another question you know what i'm saying as you guys be seeing it you know i give you all the haircut tutorials and stuff like that and you gotta support me man
Because I'm doing this for y'all. I'm taking my time out of my day to do this for y'all. Because I got a regular job. You feel me? But that's worth it, man. You know what I'm saying? Talking to, connecting with people, inspiring people to start dreadlocks. Seen a lot of comments that you guys said. You inspired me to do dreadlocks. You, you got me starting dreadlocks. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's what's fun about it. You know what I'm saying? To be honest with y'all, it's like somebody actually mentioning saying that like you helped me with this journey. You helped me with that journey. Like it's cool. It's like being a teacher. It's like once you see a student graduating. Like you're like, oh shoot, okay. I mean, you still get paid as a teacher, don't you? Like you gotta make a living, but at the end of the day, that's not their goal. Like their goal should be, a good teacher's heart should be like the student getting to somewhere better versus him getting more money for what he does. But at the same time, teacher need to get paid more. That's a fact. Talking a lot, right? But I'm actually showing you guys how to do this. So you guys just pay attention as I do it. You know what I'm saying? Don't go anywhere. Just sit down, grab a popcorn, or grab your hair. How about that? Leave the popcorn to somebody else. Somebody chubby in your house. All right. Kind of getting chubby, by the way. All right. The frizz is almost gone. Uh, okay, so the frizz is pretty much gone. All you see is just a little bit of hair is just sticking out everywhere. That's just a common thing for dreads. There is no way you can have a perfect old, you know what I'm saying, dreads, especially if you have my hair type. So the hair type that you have definitely matters in, uh, in basically doing, getting rid of frizz dreads or maturity of your dreads. I believe um, your hair type has a say so in on all that, like literally in, in your whole dread journey. It's up to you to figure out what kind of hair type you have and to follow that person with that hair type on YouTube or something like find like if you're Asian like you can watch my videos for help of course but it's not the best help to help you out with you know what I'm saying and I'm not trying to be all stereotypical or you know what I'm saying and I'm not trying to be like uh, uh, trying to sound come out racist or anything like that I'm not uh, I love everybody equally everybody's made in God's image equally you get what I'm saying either if you're brown white you know what I'm saying uh, purple green you know what I'm saying God made you um, so I don't have a, I don't have any hate towards anything but at the same time I, I'll, I'll tell you the best way to to help you out with those things is to go to somebody that's already having your hair texture you get what I'm saying but of course watch my videos and support me and that's it for the first uh, for the first way to get rid of frizz and the second way And the second way to get rid of frizz, frizzy hair or frizzy dreads is this way. And so I'm gonna grab another one since I basically did this one. I'm gonna grab another one that is very much look like is frizzed out to the max. Very frizzy, you guys see this right here coming out. That will be a good way to get it with the crochet needle, to be honest with you, because if it is out that much, it needs much more crochet needle than uh, what I'm about to do. Um, and also you guys can definitely combine both methods it's not just a method ind independently used uh, but I'm gonna show you guys actually how to knock this one out so you come to the other side you make sure you kinda like wrap the dreads around the needle and put it on the hook and grab it through Ooh, see that? Gone. Especially towards here, towards the end of it. I told you already uh, how I would get rid of this, right? So I'm not gonna do it right now or twist it or anything like that. I'm getting rid of it with a professional dreadlock optician. Here's a brand new one, and this is another method. This is a before, right? Y'all see that? How smooth that look? You see that? See that's on my hair? That straight up needs to be locked with a crochet needle. Need to get inside the dreads. Rubbing it will not work for that. Do not rub for those. I repeat, do not rub for those. It makes no sense rubbing them. Put in a crochet needle.
All right, so the best thing, the best advice I can give you guys in this video is time will justify your dreads. Basically, what I'm saying is that, let's say you just locked your hair today, right? You cannot expect your hair to be as good as what they look like, like the next two years versus where you're at now. So like like I said, time will tell. If you guys are doing the met, taking the right steps, taking the method to get in your best locks, like getting rid of your frizz, taking care of your roots, not putting uh, product in. I'm, I'm a very big guy against product. I don't use product on my face. I don't use product on my hair. I don't use product anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm very careful about what chemical I put on myself. Because I don't know at the end of the day, because I don't know at the end of the day, they can be giving you a best result for the product, but not the consequence that come with it at the end. You get what I'm saying? So I'm very careful on those things. I'm I'm very, I'm very much so. I don't trust no chemical. You know what I'm saying? Uh, except for shampoos or like just general things that have been created over and over again. But when somebody says we have new product that nobody ever found before, uh, this will get your stuff done real quick. I'm very sketchy about those. I'm very much so. Like, are you sure? Like, what is the catch? You know what I'm saying? Because if this the product is very new, then nobody really tested it and really said, okay, I've used this for a year, two years or so. And that's why I'm very careful about what I use on my hair. Uh, olive oil, pretty good. Uh, coconut oil, you know what I'm saying? Those things, the essentials, like the, the main things that people use and been tested for decades and years and thousands of years. Yes, like, I'm with that. But anything that's new, that they bring out i'm very much so uh, i don't know about that hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you learned something hope you learned that not to put fire on your hair especially on your dreadlocks it is not a best way maybe next time i might try from like a distance i'm not i'm just kidding i'm not going to do that again but hey if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit the thumbs up subscribe and comment on a road to 10k Hey, 10K about to be lit because you know what's going down to my hair when, it, when we hit 10K. I know everybody waiting for that. I'm waiting for that also. The blonde actually is coming back. I know you guys still can't see it much with the lighting. The lighting is not the best to see that, but you guys can see it. It was black. I dyed it black, but you know, it's wearing off now. So, you know what's coming next. Hey, appreciate you guys. Check out the previous video because it's a banger. Any video that I pull out there is a banger. You know what I'm saying? It's a banger. Yeah, it's a banger. Ooh. All right. Till next time, I'm Activerse. Keep Activerse and creating your universe. I'm Activerse, and I'm out.